watch as First Take honors America's heroes with a live show from Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Arizona. Many surprises and all the debate you can handle. So tune in tomorrow, November 8th, as First Take honors our true heroes. The struggle is starting to get real for Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. He apparently doesn't want to hear any criticism from us TV people, especially at the Bears practice facility. Let's take a listen to what he had to say about it. Trying to get some of these TVs in the building turned off because you got too many people talking on TV about us and uh, what they think about us, what we should do, what we are and what we're not. But they don't really know who we are or what we're capable of people or what we're going through or what we're thinking. Um, it's just the outside viewers uh, looking in. And uh, so, yeah, tunnel vision, earmuffs, and just come to work every day and try to get better and get back to what we know we're capable of doing. All right, what we do know is that the Bears are three and five in last place in the NFC North. Uh, we welcome back Dominique. Have you calmed down since I our mean, last segment? I was just upset. <laughs> Dominique Foxworth stirring things up in an NBA discussion. We have Damian Woody back. Uh, Damian, I start with you. Was it a weak move for Trubisky to try and take all the noise out and turn all the TVs off at the uh, to avoid criticism? Absolutely. It's weak and it's soft. Okay? <laughs> and is part of the job description as a professional football player. You're going to get criticized when you're not playing well. And Mitchell Trubisky right now is not playing well for the Chicago Bears. We're talking about a guy in seven games played, he only has five touchdowns. Pocket can't see the field. And listen, you're playing in Chicago. Okay, when I think of Chicago, I think of Monsters of the Midway. Monster, of the, Dick Butkus, Mike Singletary, Richard Dent. Like, you think of defense, hard-nosed type football. And you have your starting quarterback at the podium talking about, oh, well, I need to turn off the TVs <laughs> in the facility because I don't like what's being said out here in the media. Really? Like, that's your biggest concern is what we're saying out here in the media. How about you get some get right to yourself, start playing better, and maybe people won't be talking about you the way they are. But he is so focused on all the wrong things right now instead of focusing on get, you know, playing better, getting so, this team right. This is so you, you say a lot of things that make a lot of sense. And I came up in football just like you came up in football. And all the things that you were saying are so damn football. But the fact of the matter is there are other things that impact people. And the ambient noise <laughs> impacts you. Like, we can't pretend like sports psychology is not a real field that exists. And I think the idea of allowing all this negative talk around you impacts you. I think it's a real thing. And if you want that out of if you don't want your teammates hearing that, if you don't want to hear that every day, it impacts us all as much as we want to pretend and all athletes say it. I don't watch it. I don't care. Yes, you do. We've all been there. You hear the noise and it impacts you. And him being mature enough to recognize that it impacts him and to want it out, I think it's fine because at this point, that team is desperate. If getting the noise to be quiet to help you play better, get it out of there. I don't care. Whatever it takes. If mayonnaise sandwiches help you, I'll make you some mayonnaise sandwiches. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they are desperate at this point. And if he understands that about himself, like negative self-talk is a thing. We don't need that. Absolutely. Does his attempt to do this look like he's trying to protect the team or does it look like he's trying to protect protect himself? Does it look individualistic? I don't, I don't think that you can disentangle those things because the <laughs> team, the issue with the team is him. So if, it, if what he's doing makes him better, then that is good for the team. And I, I do have a problem. When I first heard this quote, you guys were in a meeting. When they read the quote, what did I say? I said, Oh, that's messed up that they leaking this on Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> the, the problem is that he said it. He was dumb enough to say it. I don't have a problem with him calling the, the GM or whoever and saying, look, I don't need that because every time we turn on the TV, they saying, I stink, we stink, I'm the problem. I don't need my teammates hearing that, and I don't need to hear Damien, that. Damien, why do you look like that? You said all this psychological babble, <laughs> and you know what I that say? Football it is all soft. You know what? Because it's a football here's, player. Because here, here's, here's what it comes down to me, okay? You're the quarterback. You can't handle that. How am I supposed to, as, as, a, as, a, as a player in the locker room, we got a two-minute drop. I'm looking in your eyes. 
do you think I do you think I trust that you'll be able to drive us down the two minute drive when you can't even handle some noise on television? Okay, again, Man, that's soft. Again, I don't want to hear all this again, mess. All, all this psychological again, babble. Uh, that's uh, a, again, the game of the football problem. is psychological. Uh, it's agreed, it's agreed, psychological agreed. warfare. If you can't agreed. handle, so, if you can't handle we, us talking so head, talking about your you. plays, I agree with then you. That I, the you only, need to step out of the way. The only problem is that it's out there. This nonsense, like it's, I see football, I play football. Like there are other things that impact. You can't just be everybody. Things. All the psychological you know data we talk about. You know we all can't be linemen. You, you we all can't be linemen. Tell, you we don't just go slam my head to things you in front tell, of us. You want me to tell you what's impacting? What's that? He's not playing well. Right, how about that? Right, yeah. Okay? If you, no, if you want to solve all that, you want to start playing some good throw, football. Throw the ball to your teammates. I agree with you. However, this is the this is the state that we're in now. We got to go. He has to address this. We got to go. You go in the new age it's psychological it's talk. And it's you not you own that like millennial Coming nonsense. Up, it's I'm a millennial. Who's got you on that boomer baloney. I almost ain't say baloney. You got Tua or do you got Burrow? Mel Kuyper Jr. will break it all down. Wow, you done got soft.